Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do an unboxing or review on a pair of Burberry vintage check panel loafers. These were recently released by Burberry and they were available at one of the boutiques in the city where I live. Um, I went down, I took a look at them and they came home with me. Uh, first a little bit on my experience at the Burberry boutique. It was fantastic. Um, the, the staff there were professional and friendly. Uh, the essay that I dealt with had a tremendous amount of product knowledge, um, not only about the shoes, but about some accessories that I had questions about. Just overall a fantastic, fantastic, warm and welcoming experience. Um, just really great. Um, I've only made one other Burberry purchase my entire life, and it was years ago I bought a classic Burberry uh, full-length overcoat and uh, never really looked at the brand beyond that but after visiting the boutique um, I'm starting to realize this is probably a brand that's overlooked by a lot of people um, myself included and hopefully that's going to change in the future uh, first the box um, if you've watched any of my other videos you know I love a good shoe box because I actually use them I store my shoes in them and if they're of good quality they hold up and protect the shoes for years and if you're going to buy high-end uh, luxury shoes like this, uh, the idea is to have them for years. So the box is this brown, you know, cardboardy color, and as you get very close, you can see the box has a texture, and it's really high quality. It's a sturdy box. It's embossed with Burberry London, England. That's in black. It does not have a very big lip, which is okay. Um, I will take a shot of the tag in case anybody is interested at the end of this video. Um, it says the price right there, US $770, which I think for these shoes is a, a good price, a good value. Um, I was really pleased with that. Value might be the wrong word. It was a, a fair price for the quality of the shoe, I believe. Inside the box, you're going to find a few things. First is going to be this little sleeve, made of the same material pretty much as the box. You can see it has the same pattern. It is open on both ends, and it's basically some product information in, you know, hundred different languages. The second is this little hang tag, which was actually never used because the arrow has not been uh, bent in any way. Um, and in there is the, the barcode and some more product information. What I noticed about this, which I thought was really cool, is on the back, it has the seal of the late Queen Elizabeth II and the Prince of Wales, who is now, of course, King Charles III. Um, didn't notice this until I really took a look at all of the packaging and um, I just think, you know, given the, the recent events, it's kind of cool. Um, little plastic tag says Burberry. Um, they, the, these shoes also came with one dust bag. This I was a little disappointed in. I always feel men's shoes should have two dust bags because they're never big enough for both shoes to fit in. Not that I use them. Whenever I travel, I have dust bags that I use specifically for traveling. But still, it would be nice. Uh, this is a rather thin cloth. It's in a, a very odd, light, green, minty color. It says Burberry England in black. And now the actual shoes, which I'm super excited to show all of you. These are uh, penny loafer style. They're uh, substantial, but sleek at the same time. There's no beef roll on the side. It's very, very slim. Good heel, good sole. I like, a, I like that thicker style. On the bottom, good amount of tacking, fully stitched, leather with a little rubber insert on the heel. Inside is a, a beige leather, it says Burberry, and uh, London, England, they're fully lined. Um, I just think they're just so, so unique looking. Um, right in my comfort zone, but still, you know, a little, little different, and I believe that Honestly, I would wear these as a neutral shoe. I think these wear both as black and brown. And as far as the, the check, it's the, um, the darker taupey color, which is really great. It has the little red accent. It goes full through. Um, this beautiful detail on the top, some detail on the back, give you an idea of the heel detail on the back. The stitching is really beautiful. These are handmade in Italy, which is kind of cool, you know, English company, handmade shoes in Italy. Kind of nice. 
Um, all in all, really, really good. Um, they wear, when you have them on, they're, they're like a substantial shoe. They're not very svelte. Um, the closest thing I could compare them to is my Louis Vuitton loafers. Um, and even maybe my Christian Louboutin loafers where they're, they're solid. They're not like my YSL ones or my Ferragamos that are a little more, you know, a little more contoured, a little, little less in your face. These are definitely kind of in your face, but without being, in my opinion, gaudy or over the top. I just think that they're, they're just so cool. I just, I'm so excited to wear them. I mean, I think these would go great with jeans or even maybe a pair of khakis. I could wear them with a black belt. Um, if I could find a belt that was this taupey color, I would do that. Um, I went to Hermes. They don't have any belt that matches that. Um, Burberry does have a belt that's this entire pattern, but I felt that would have just been too much. So these are my brand new Burberry vintage check pattern, uh, check panel penny loafers. Uh, thanks so much. Um, oh, to everyone who has subscribed, which I'm completely blown away that so many of you have subscribed to my channel. Thank you all so much. Thank you for the wonderful, supportive comments, the fantastic, intriguing questions. Um, I'm just so taken aback by the YouTube community that has responded to my videos. I don't do this professionally. I just do it for fun. I shoot these videos on my phone and everyone for the most part has been just so supportive and so kind and I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, please leave them below. I'd be more than happy to respond. Um, and hopefully if you haven't already, you will subscribe. So thank you all so much until the next time.